What's up guys, back with another Star Wars toy box review. And today we have the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda slash Grogu Razor Crest play set. Now I've got this along with the Shadow Trooper and R2Q5, as well as the Boba Fett and Stormtrooper, like I mentioned in my Boba Fett Stormtrooper video a couple weeks ago. And I got this toy for about 32 US dollars because I saved 20% off the original cost in which this Razor Crest playset originally cost 40 US dollars, so I'm really happy that I saved a good deal. On the front of the box, you get a nice clear view of the two characters, which are the re-release of the original Mandalorian back in October 2020, and a new Baby Yoda, but without his pram. We also have a picture of the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda in the Razor Crest. It can shoot missiles, it has a hidden compartment, and it also has engine, lights, and sounds. We have the nice Star Wars Toy Box logo, as well as the Disney Castle logo. On one side, we have some cool artwork of the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. On the other side, we have some cool artwork of Mando and Baby Yoda inside the Razor Crest. Here's the top with the Star Wars Toy Box logo, and the bottom with a bunch of warnings. On the back, we have a nice picture of the characters, the Razor Crest, and the Carbonite Freezing Chamber, as you can see here. We have some retractable landing gear and handles, in which I'm really excited to try it out. You can also collect the Ahsoka Tunnel and Captain Rex figures, in which I reviewed last year, so check them out right now. You can also collect Wrecker, and I'm really excited for this one. And here's the price tag. It tells you that it costs $40 in the US and $56 in Canada. So without further ado, let's get this open. All right, guys, it's now time to get this open. And wow, that's a really big razor crest. So let's get it out. We also have a few cardboards in to protect the ship. We also have an instruction manual that shows you how to play with this toy. Alright, now that everything is out of the big box, let's get the two main characters out. Next, we will get the big razor crest out of this big plastic. And here is everything out of the big box. Now the contents you get with this big play set are a big Razor Crest ship, the Mandalorian re-release figure, the Mandalorian blaster, two missiles for the Razor Crest, a new Baby Yoda, and the Carbonite Freezing Chamber. Not only that, you get an instruction manual that tells you what is included in this set and how to play with this Razor Crest ship. So without further ado, let's take a look at the figures first, then the Razor Crest ship. So looking at this re-release of the Mandalorian, there's not a whole lot going on to him, but there is a few slight changes. So basically, his armor is more of a silver metallic, and number two, the bandolier is not a rubber part, it's a hard plastic. The one that we got in October 2020, has the bandolier which is rubbery and this one's like less silverly more gray and that's all the differences i want to show you for the new viewers who didn't see the original mandalorian and baby yoda video that was made in june 2021 originally let me show you his articulation so his head rotates all the way around with some side to side very little and a good amount of up and down as you can see here the arms rotate all the way around with a good t pose his elbow bends 90 degrees, and it also rotates. The hand rotates all the way around, and the hinges up and down, but it's really stiff. The waist can rotate all the way around, and the legs go that far forward, but not too much back. As you can see, it's a little bit back. With a full split, his knee bends 90 degrees, and it also rotates. And the feet rotate all the way around, and they hinge up and down, and that's it. So... Without further ado, let's look at Baby Yoda. Looking at this re-release of Baby Yoda, it looks pretty similar to the one that we got in 2020, but it's just the fact that it doesn't have the crib. So looking at this big Baby Yoda, 
you can see that he is a few cm taller than the 2020 baby yoda the head is a lot bigger and it's really really cute also his ears are really rubbery so you can bend them like this and i'm really glad it isn't a hard plastic because if it were a hard plastic that it'd be really brutal so that's a really nice choice that disney did and moving down to the body it's mainly a soft plastic and it's really awesome on the back. And moving on to the bottom of the Baby Yoda, you have a few wordings and that's all you get with him. Now, let's look at the Mandalorian accessory. The only and similar accessory that this Mandalorian has is this Mandalorian blaster. So you can put it in his hand if you like, just like that, and there you go. And you could also put it inside this holster. So just lift his arm up and then push it in like this. And that's how you do it. All right, since we finished looking at the characters, we're now going to look at this really big razor crest. So looking at the front, you can see that there's not a whole lot of detail to it, but I really like the gray on it. And we also have a few holes so that we could put in the missiles, which I will show later. And you can see that you can open this part up so that you could fit Mandalorian or the Baby Yoda inside. And not only that, you could adjust the front panel up and down so that you could give Mandalorian a bit more space. And the cool gimmick is that you could flip this seat down. As you can see, it's red. Just flip it down like this. And then you could put this Baby Yoda in so that the Baby Yoda can't disturb the Mandalorian. And then there you go. Another cool gimmick of the front of the Razor Crest is that you could put the Mandalorian on the seat. So we'll just put the Mandalorian on this red seat, tuck his arms inside, and now he's gonna pilot the ship. I kind of wish that his cape was removable so that Mandalorian could get a bit more space, but it's really fun. To close the window, just simply push this tab in like this until you hear a nice click, and then that's how you do it. Other details on this Razor Crest is that we have more yellow paint on the sides and I'm really glad that they maintained that detail even if it's mainly just gray. And on both sides, we have the rocket launcher so that Mando and Baby Yoda can fly. So it's mainly gray with a bit of yellow on the sides. And also, you have a button here so that you could open something in the Razor Crest so just when you push it in, I'll click and then we'll just flip this up and it shows you the inside of the Razor Crest. To close it, just simply press that button over there again and then we'll just pop it back into place. Wait until you hear a click like this and then there you go. On the bottom of the ship, you can open this up and you can also put in the carbonite freezing chamber like this. And then we'll just close it like that, and then there you go. Now, let's look at this carbonite freezing chamber. So looking at this freezing chamber, it's pretty similar to the one in the Slave 1, but it's just the fact that it's separate. So what we want to do, just open this up. We also have nice rubber over here, and we could put the Mandalorian inside. It's a bit tricky because he's pretty big to fit in, and we could just close it in like this and it could close in like this and then there you go don't leave the video just yet because there's some more gimmicks that i want to show you with this razor crest so we have two missiles which are silver and we could just fit them in these holes just wait until you hear a click like this and we have a few buttons so that we could launch them same for the other side and what you want to do when you press them, it'll launch right through like this. Now let's show you this gimmick in slow motion. More gimmicks is that you could open up the landing gear just like that. And then we'll just put it down like this. And not only that, you could also flip this part up so that you could hold the Razor Crest flying like this. And that's really awesome, and I'm just going to keep it like that. And there you go. The best gimmick of this Razor Crest is that it makes some fun engine lights and sounds 
automatically. So we're just gonna turn this on, and now we're gonna fly it and see how it works. So when you move it around, the engine lights will just light up yellow, and that's the best part. Now let's show you a few more sounds. Man, that's really awesome. So basically, as I mentioned before, when you move the ship, it'll make all these sounds. I kind of wish there was a button so that we could make these sounds, but I really like it when it's automatic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you haven't already. I will also leave a link to order this toy in the descriptions below. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.